Just a quick video in relation to this uh, video I see on YouTube uh, that uh, shows a flight done by Max Egan from Santiago in uh, Chile to Sydney, Australia. And he had a small compass on board and claimed that uh, it didn't move throughout the whole flight. Now, the first thing I noticed straight away when I watched this video is the proximity of the compass to the metal in the actual, uh, whether it's the tray table or the side of the uh, the airline seat, I don't know, but look how close the metal is to it. Now, obviously, uh, anyone who thinks this is actually an anomaly has no idea that a standard magnetic compass will also point to the nearest metal. So the proximity of the metal in that table completely overrides any uh, legitimacy of the compass, and it's also inside a metal aircraft fuselage, so you're not going to get uh, good reliability anyway. Let me just demonstrate that. This is a little hiking compass that I purchased recently. And uh, you'll see, if I lift it off the table, it points in one direction. If I put it down on the table, notice how it changed. Now, if I move it around the table, it's pointing in completely different directions. And if I was on an aeroplane, um, and it just stayed pointing in one direction, the reason for that is because it's actually pointing to metal in this table. Okay, right underneath here there's metal and inside the actual frame of the drawer you probably can't see it there but there's metal as well. So any metal within a distance of several inches is going to drastically affect the accuracy of a compass. See that? So it completely invalidates any of the findings by the fact that he's got his compass sitting literally inches away from metal and who knows what's underneath that there's probably more metal in the frame itself so absolutely ridiculous the other thing that is worth noting and this uh, is also a cause for a lot of confusion with people is when we look at a flight like that from San Diego to Sydney the flight route appears curved you see it curves down towards the south and then curves back up to the north now People often wonder, well, why can't I feel the aeroplane turning? Why can't I actually see it turning, okay? The truth is, because this map is quite deceptive. This is a two-dimensional map, and it's trying to depict a flight path that is actually realistic on a three-dimensional Earth. Um, it distorts the flight path, because what uh, the aircraft is actually flying is what's called a great circle route. And I've plotted that on Google Earth Pro, you'll see that when you actually visualize it correctly in three dimensions, it's a straight line, okay? We're flying from San Diego, Chile, up to Sydney. We're flying a straight line, so the plane is not turning at all. Now, the aircraft is flying straight, but to the pilots on board, the compass direction is actually changing. And the only reason it's changing is because as we're flying this straight line, the perspective and the orientation of our flight track in relation to the lines of longitude is actually changing okay so that is why our apparent direction is changing yet the airplanes flying in a straight line I know it doesn't sound intuitive and it could be a little bit complicated but it's not it's just basic three-dimensional geometry and I've also got a professional flight app that I use and I've put in uh, Sydney and Santiago there you'll see once again when you view that flight route directly from above it's a straight line okay you can orientate that globe in any direction and it might look like a curve okay it's going to look like a curve in, in either direction depending upon how you orientate but if you are looking directly above the route it's a straight line and that's how we fly that's uh, the shortest distance between two points on the earth is actually a straight line called a great circle that's what it looks like on the globe it only looks confusing when you look at it on a two-dimensional map and the uh, the aircraft flight path display inside the cabin of the aircraft uses a two-dimensional map and that's why the flight path looks curved but as you can see we're actually flying straight it's not that hard to uh, understand once you put your head into three-dimensional mode and visualize it on the globe